For more on this, Manish Chand is joining us, the Editor-in-Chief at the India Rights Network and the CEO at the Centre for Global Insights India, joining us live from New Delhi. So a warm welcome. So let's just break this down. Trudeau has said Canadian intelligence were pursuing credible allegations of a link between Hardeep Singh Nijar's death and the Indian state. What is your view on this? Uh, you know, first of all, it's a very serious allegation. It's a direct finger pointing at the Indian government, uh, you know, that is going to further worsen India-Canada relations, which are already at uh, under severe stress. And now the expression, uh, credible allegations, right, what is that supposed to mean? If they have credible evidence, we should talk about credible ev evidence. Now, if the Canadian intelligence and the Canadian government has credible evidence linking India or the agents of the Indian government uh, with the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijar, they should share it rather than making a public announcement of it. I think the important thing is why make a public announcement? Obviously, you want to draw, he's making a, a pitch, and that is the whole problem with this accusation. Because uh, you know, given the very close relations with India and Canada, otherwise, uh, if such an allegation is made in the public and that too in Parliament, it is a serious, serious provocation. It is designed to further, you know, exacerbate tensions. So I, I'm just really doubting the, 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 the sagacity of the Canadian Prime Minister. But if there are those allegations, if he feels that, then I believe uh, these allegations should be investigated thoroughly and meticulously. Okay, uh, let's talk about so the Indian no one... side because they've said that Canada right. had long provided shelter to Khalistani right. terrorists and extremists as well who threaten India's security. Do you agree with that? Uh, yes, very much. You know, I mean, the point is that uh, these are known terrorists, many of them. You see, Khalistan movement, so-called Khalistan, does not have any traction among Indian Sikhs here, living here. They have found, uh, uh, you know, vocal, uh, wealthy supporters outside India. It's in Canada, it's in Australia, in other places. Punjab, India's Punjab state is a very prosperous state. So coming back to that, these are terrorists. We have been telling those here. And the man who uh, Canada is accusing India of being involved in assassinating, he is involved in several terrorist cases in India, he, he was uh, uh, involved, allegedly involved, uh, in uh, uh, the killing uh, in an attack on an Indian cinema hall in Jalandhar. So there are several cases against him. And you look at the virulence of uh, the propaganda being carried out of, uh, by them. And it's, it, it rarely happens. You know, these are the extremists and terrorists who made posters out of Indian diplomats working in Canada. Some of them are, are also my friends, and they made a, to, uh, it was literally a call for their assassination. How do you account for such virulent, uncivilized behavior? It's a totally unacceptable in interstate relations. And Canada government, why is it uh, patronizing such people? One would assume that, because without the support from the top, these activities cannot go unchecked. I can understand Canada's point of view. Canada says that, you know, uh, this is their right of freedom of expression. And Canada has a very strong view on uh, freedom of expression and, and civil liberties and all that. Uh, but we got to ask, and everyone, a uh, right-minded person should ask, does freedom of expression means freedom to terrorize, freedom of terrorism, freedom of misleading propaganda? This is not just India's point of view. I mean, really, I mean, the whole world is suffering from the brunt of terror attacks in, in one way or the other. And unless it comes, it, it, it hits a particular region, that region does not quite, uh, is not quite alert to the, to the terror threat. Okay, so Manish. it is a very sad state of affairs. Yeah, yeah. Manish, thank you so it's much for your point of, of view. We appreciate you coming on and sharing it with us. The Editor-in-Chief at the India Rights Network and the CEO at the Centre for Global Insights India, live from New Delhi here on TRT World.